How's it going guys? Me David here for another shave and today I'm going to be using a soap that my buddy Zach, you know everybody, a lot of people know him as Zach likes to shave. Um, used to be on YouTube, don't really do no YouTube no more. That's sad, but that's another story. He sent me a few soaps this week and this, well, last week, whatever. He sent me a few soaps um, that he thought that he, he would like to see me try, kind of see my thoughts on and just generally like how I like the scent. This one I got, so he sent me this one first off from Mornington Shave Company. This is Chowler. Um, just one little knock I had so far. This is what I see. This label, I'm not thrilled by it. The morning tint itself is really, really light. It looks a little small. I would like to see the, that a little bit bigger, more pronounced. I personally, I don't know why. This is just a personal preference for me. I actually like to see the company name more prominent than the scent. That's just a weird thing, I guess, that I'm into, but that's just my preference. I like to know who makes it. And it's really hard to see that Mornington Shave Company. Company. And this is the Chowler. Uh, Bergamot, sandalwood, vanilla, jasmine, amber, I believe it's pretty nice scent. And trip out on that color. The color like this, and then on top, it's that. So, why that is, I don't know. I've actually never really seen that before. So, I don't know. I would hope not. I hope it didn't like cause any damage to it. Um, in transit, it was, when it, this got delivered, it was days where it was pretty damn hot here in California. So, I don't know if that may have something to do with it or that's just the way it is. So, I was talking to Zach and Zach actually recommended that I actually do a little bit more of a dry load. So, I'm actually going to go with a board brush today. I'm going to go ahead and wring it out. So, that's nice. this is my favorite bore knot right here. The Badger and Blade Essential Bore. Let's go ahead and load it up. Oh, nice and heavy. He said that I may have a Mystic Waters type of experience with this. So that in itself, when he told me that, I wanted to kick him in his balls because I hated Mystic Waters. But, he, then, but then he kind of changed it and said, no, no, it's not, it's not really that bad. So I'm like, hmm, we shall see. I hope not because I like giving good reviews on stuff. I like... Uh, I like saying stuff is good. Again, I won't lie about it, but I prefer giving you guys good news as opposed to bad news. I don't like to damage anybody's ability to make some money. So if this guy's making money off of this stuff, I don't want to be the one responsible for him to be ruined. But if it's trash, I have to warn you guys that it's trash. So went ahead, wet my face there. So that was a pretty dry load. I could tell it loaded up there, for one, because a little white in the excess, but also that soap is like brown, so it totally changed the color of my hair. So let's check it out. I don't know what to expect here. Holy hell. Okay. So I definitely... Let's check it out. Wow. Okay. I'm more seeing if this can't work out. Well, that's really bad so far. This is still incredibly, incredibly pasty. We're trying to get more water into this. It just ain't going. It's starting to work, but I'm just having to put a lot of water in this shit. So for me, right off the bat, a dry load with a soft, solid soap isn't my thing. Or at least... I guess I have to do it even less because right now this is just too much work to get this to be hydrated. Jesus Christ. So I get for listening to Zach. I should just do what I normally do. But 
it is working. It's starting to get itself into a nicer lather. This will just probably be the longest I've ever taken to lather up a soap. Starting to get there. It's a very different look to this one. To me, it looks, I don't know if you've ever seen plaster before. It's like hard, obviously, like the soft plaster you're working with. That's what it kind of looks like to me. Try to get some more water in there. Thank God this brush is broken in because I would have been tearing up my face right now if it wasn't. So the leather's starting to look pretty good. It's just, Jesus, I, I've never had to work for a leather like this. And this, I'm gonna blame Zach completely. Zach, this is completely your fault. I'm not gonna blame this company. But now I got a good lather. Now we'll see how the stabi stability of it is. It's creamy. Appears to be slick. We shall see. Okay. This is the razor of choice, the Gillette New Long Comb with a bulldog handle. Love this razor, shaves awesome. That's what I'm gonna be using. Let's check it out. My damn arm is tired from the damn from from making a lather. So it's not a voluminous lather. This is a tallow based soap, so I don't know if the type of tallow they use affects us because that's actually what it reminds me of. The The way this soap looks is how the original formula of sterling actually looks. There you go. Well actually I don't know if it's the original sterling formula. But the sterling formula of, of like two years ago. It's plenty slick. But yeah, it's not a voluminous lather. It's not, it's, it's not exploding on there. It covers, but it just has a very... Different consistency. There we go. No, but you're getting the job done though. So that's just the with the grain pass. That's the easy pass. So let's check it out. Yeah, I never messed with myself with this. Like this soap. There you go. Try off the glasses so I can see. Let's check out how this comes out for the second pass. Mm. Mm. Please be taking it well. Again, I just, I don't know if you could see it completely. It's just, it's a very... different performing type of lather. It's almost like you're putting that, it's almost like you're putting. Oh, okay, and sorry about that. Um, Rochelle just called, she's at a Bionico place, which if you don't know what a Bionico place is, it's a Mexican fruit place. Um, and she's getting me something that I like called Toasty Locos, which is some chips with cueritos, which is like pickled pixie and some other stuff, so. Good news. Good reason to interrupt me. Very, very good reason. So, now that I have it setting on my face, I do feel a little bit of tingling here. 
and here. So I may have be having some kind of reaction to possibly the tallow, which I've never had an issue with before. Maybe the fragrance oils that they use. So I know they don't use a pre-mixed uh, scent. Scent. If it says on their website that they they hand blend all their scents, so I don't. I just. I don't know. If one of the individual components may be giving me a little irritation. We'll see. Real light though. It's enough for me to notice, but not enough to really bother me. But you never know. As I go into my third pass soon, you just never know if that'll increase or not. There you go. It's a very interesting lather. But yeah, for those of you guys that use the one of the older Sterling formulas, I would say it's very similar. It's very much along those lines. The slickness is there uh, uh, right now. Uh, for some, I already know that the, the type of lather it's producing may be a little off-putting because we're just creatures of habit. We like things a certain way, and it is going to throw you off a little bit, but it's performing really, really nice. So, oh, past three. Now, I've never had to apply, I've never had to mix in on my face so if I get some irritation it's gonna be because of that especially being that this is a, a poor brush and has more backbone than than most uh, this is a poor brush for me I don't remember if, uh, if I may smoke or not but this is a poor brush so I don't it obviously has more backbone than most badger brushes that I have so but if I have some irritation it won't be because of the razor. And I think that's what's bugging me on my face right now. It's not it's not the soap. It's actually, I think I'm working too much on the brush. And that was because of my mishap. So, again, Zach, thank you. Um, but, no, it's, it's working good. I think that irritation right here is from um, all the swirling. I really enjoy this razor. This razor is awesome. There we go. So it's been a rough week. I was sick since last Friday. Um, it, it's been it's been rough. It's been a rough week. Still have my si some sinus issues. Um, my stomach doesn't feel quite right. But all in all, I feel a lot better than I have been all week. So <coughs> and I have a cough still. So, but it's all good. Yeah, I really roughed up my skin with with the brush. I could feel it. Cause this, this blade, the Persona Red, with this with this blade with this razor, awesome. So lately I've been actually kind of skipping with some of my post shave steps. Like I've been doing only like one rinse as opposed to two. I used to always do uh, one hot rinse and one cold rinse. Because I may have brushed up my skin with a brush. I may have, like I have.
really slick. Like I'm washing this stuff off and I'm getting a lot of slickness still on my face. So that was the hot water rinse. I'm gonna get the cold water working. Just to soothe my to soothe my skin. You know, almost almost days you get rough days and sometimes you're in a rush and but you just do some stupid shit sometimes. Um just take that extra step to make sure you're okay. Like if it was really feeling bad right now, apart from doing this this rinse right now, the cold water rinse to soothe my skin, I would also add the, the step of using an alum block. So I'll uh, use the alum block in addition with also using my Thayer's lip needle. But no, it's not that bad. I just feel a little a little bugging here and a little bugging over here. And yeah, I'm almost 100% certain it's from that. So, and then I'll go ahead and, and almost done. Maybe the first shaving product, even though it's not completely just a shaving product, that I'll ever finish up. I already got a new bottle of this exact one though. This is the original, and I got it in the new style bottle, which the new style bottle is really nice looking. So. Gonna get that on there, so. So yeah, combining the the alum block, just a straight alum onto the face, and with chisel, and just make sure, which is my opinion, the one the way I use it, let the witch hazel completely soak into your skin and dry up before you apply the aftershave. I just think it really just, it may just be my my mind playing tricks on me, but I felt that I've had better results doing it that way. Um, and today I'm gonna go ahead and use Shave Revolution and Dr. John's Propaganda. Awesome aftershave if you haven't picked that one up. That's an exclusive to Shave Revolution. Awesome stuff. Hey, and just, hey Zach, thank you. Except for that horrible advice about the dry loading. Um, this is a damn nice soap. I like that it has the 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 tin top. I like it has the clear plastic. I don't know why I like clear plastic. Uh, so it just it just looks really clean. I would like to see them fix up this label because just again I can't I cannot see the the, the Mornington Shave Company on there. It's just hard and just the light the lighter colors here with the white writing on it just isn't a smart move. It just makes it difficult to read in general. And just kind of makes everything bleed together on the label, which I'm just not a fan of. But artistic crap aside, the soap performed amazing. The slickness is probably where it stands out the most. Really, really slick soap. Um, hey, thank you guys. I'm going to let my face dry up a little bit more with the witch hazel. And I'm going to hit it with that propaganda. So you guys have a good one. Thank you for joining me. Uh, Big Shave West, April 23rd. Make sure you guys... Book your plane, get your hotel. If you guys have any questions on that, if you guys want any advice on where to stay at, go ahead and hit me up on a message on here. Social media all over the place. Instagram, Twitter, under Social David. Find me on Facebook. You know the whole deal. And visit SocialSharpLimited.com. The Lifestyle by our collaboration with Tiki, uh, Tiki Bar Soaps should be posted on the website. Should be releasing either late next week or early the follow. Wait. Yeah. Or late this coming up week or early in the following week. And we also got Santa Lymphomas in now. I'm probably going to list those at the same time so people can not have to worry about all the different shape. Actually, I don't even... I had you, Well, either way. So they'll be posted probably at the same time. But Santa Lymphomas, Aftershape, and Soap um, under the new formulation will be posted along with Tiki Bar Soaps, uh, The Lifestyle. Our collaboration with them, Aftershape, and Soap as well. So thanks, guys. Peace.